But this morning I want to cover an issue that I faced with the junior developer about nulls and zeros. And what we had a requirement, we needed to know how many zeros and nulls were in a table. And just to give you a picture of this is kind of what we're looking at here, the values that we're going to be inserting. And so in his mind, it was a null and zero are pretty much the same thing. And uh, I can totally understand why people would think that. And we had a var car table, so what we were going to do is cast the var cars as ints because we wanted to know so how many zeros and nulls are in this table because we're going to reformat those to something else basically like a case win when something is a null or a zero we want it to become something uh, completely different so it was important to know how many of those values were in there well he came back with a count that was really low so let's uh, go ahead and, and get into this so we have these values um, we have a null we have a blank with a space we have a blank we have an eight a nine a one a four and two zeros and then a seven and so the logic that he used was basically count star from blank table cast v as an int. It's not between 1 and 9, this huge number here, okay? Now, in theory, that should work, right? And we'll see this is the actual logic you would want to use. We're going to count star where cast v as int equals 0 or v is null. And we'll see because if a null and 0 are not the same. And then, of course, there's count star, zero count from blank table, uh, equals zero. We'll see that's going to be left out. And then, of course, where it equals null. And then I'm just getting the max and min values there. So let's go ahead and, and call these queries. And um, yes, and there's a reason why there's an error. In fact, that actually should happen, and you'll see in a second. So we have uh, the, jun uh, the junior count here, which was four, which is incorrect. The real count is actually five. As we can see, there's a null. It did not consider that null a zero. It considered this a zero, and it considered this a zero, but it didn't consider the null. And we can see that if we look at this query here, zero count, we see that there are four zeros. So it considered a blank a zero. It did not consider it a null. That's also important to note. And then, of course, it actually returned one null. OK, and then we see the, uh, what is it, minimum and maximum values, nine and zero. So that's where his logic could come from. Now. So let's look at the logic that shows why. So anytime you have a question about SQL Server or, or in just in math or I'm sorry, computer science in general, one of the good things to do is to whip out some math equations. So what happens if we say 1 times 0 equals 0, right? 1 times null equals null. 1 plus 0 equals 1. 1 plus null equals null. I'm, yeah, one, I'm going to say this wrong if I'm not careful. 1 minus 0 equals 1, it's going to say 0, but it's actually 1. 1 minus null equals null. The square root of 1 is, of course, 1. The square root of null is null. This actually makes perfect sense. I mean, a null times a null equals eh, null. Anyway, it's not only funny, but it actually makes sense. 1 divided by 0, and there's our error. Okay, so if you were wondering what threw an error, that's it. Uh, can't do that, right? Divide by 0 when counted. We get this red, ugly message that says divide by 0 when counted. What about 1 divided by null? doesn't throw an error, it returns null. And just to prove that, see, watch, I'll call it again, null. So nulls and zeros are not the same. And if you cast a var car as an int, that behavior does not make a null a zero. So that's just some things to know. Now, you can use also as well, you could, in theory, use the, uh, hold on a second, if we go back to his, we could do this. We could use the is null operator, and it says, hey, when it's null, return a zero. And then if we call this query, and let me, um, hold a second, highlight this out, otherwise it'll throw another error. You will see that now it agrees with the real count. So a null is not zero, important to know, um, especially if you're new to SQL Server, you're new to logic. If you have questions about what a value actually equals, um, not a varcar value, but if you are wondering if it's numeric, you can always do some just basic math problems and see what value you get.